Hello scholars! I'm going to be helping you with your first grade skills lessons. My name is Miss Shane and today we're going to work on lesson 12. Let's get started. Today's objectives are to blend in segments, single syllable words, identify letter sound correspondences, write upper and lower case letters, and decode CVC and CVCC words. Let's get started with some blending and segmenting. Wiggle out those fingers of yours. Remember, to blend, we touch our finger to our thumb, and to segment, we wiggle as we say the sound. Get your hands ready. Say the sounds with me. Shh. Eh, p, shit. Three fingers for ship. Sh -e -p. B -a -k. Back. Three fingers for back. B -a -k. K -a -p. Cup. Three fingers for cup. K -a -p. H -a -d. Head. Three fingers for head. H -a -d. We're halfway through. Ah, uh, stop. Four fingers for stop. Ah, uh, g, er, e, p, grip. Four fingers for grip. G. Er, e, p, b, er, u, m, broom. Four fingers for broom. B, er, u, m. Last one. Er, e, m, trim. Four fingers for trim. T, er, e, m. Great job. Give yourselves a little pat on the back. Working hard already. We've got a couple new consonant sounds to look at today. The first one we have here is this sound. Do you know what this sound is? This one can be tricky because it looks like another one of our sounds. If you said b, you'd be correct. B can be spelled with this letter b, as in bat. This power bar is almost all the way across. What does that mean? You got it. That means it's very common to see B spelled with one B. But there's another spelling too. Sometimes two Bs as in rubbing will say B as well. This power bar is much shorter. That means it is less common to see it written that way. What sound do we have here? Er. And the sound er can be spelled with one R as in red. This power bar is almost all the way across. What did we say that means? Very common. 
That means you'll often see er spelled with one R. There's two more spellings. This one is a double letter. Two R's can say r, as in ferret. And then we have one more that we haven't quite looked at yet, but it's still there sometimes. The last sound we're gonna look at today is this one here. What sound does this make? This says ul. And you can spell ul with one L, as in lip. The power bar is pretty long. That means very common. You'll see the sound ul spelled with one L a lot of the time. But it can also be spelled with two L's, as in bell. Next, we're gonna practice writing these sounds. Let's look at this page and practice writing these sounds, or letters. The first one we have here is a lowercase b, or the sound b. You need to draw a long line down and a circle to the right. That was a little messy, so I'm going to try again. Long line down, circle to the right. Much better. For the capital, you need to draw a long line down, then lift your pen and start back at the top with one hump, and two. Next, we have a lowercase l, or the sound ul. You just need to draw one long line down from top to bottom. That's pretty easy. For the capital, draw one long line down, and then a short line to the right. Still pretty easy. We've got one more to look at. The letter R or the sound R. For the lowercase, you need to start between the dotted line and the bottom and draw a short line down. Then come up and draw half a hump. For the capital, Draw from top to bottom a long line down, then lift up your pen and start back at the top. Draw a half circle to the right and then a diagonal line down. On these next pages, all of the words have either three or four sounds in them. You're going to segment the words to find out how many sounds they have. Let's start with the first example that they already did for us. This word is r at rat. It has three sounds. They circled each sound and then counted the circles one, two, three to write in the box. Then to practice our handwriting, write the word rap on the line. Let's look at number two. Circle the sounds as you segment them. L, A, N, D. That is one, two, three, four sounds. And the word is land. L, A, Mm, duh. Just like that. Let's look at number three. Circle the sounds. T, er, I, p. 
That was four sounds. T, er, e, p, trip. I think you can finish the rest of these all on your own. There's a few more on this page and the next page. Write the number of sounds and then write the word on the line. On this next page, you're gonna practice some reading. Read the word and then write the word underneath the picture it belongs to. This first word says k, i, d, kid. So you would write the word kid underneath the picture of a kid. Is this a kid? Yeah, that looks like it could be a kid, but let's make sure there's not a better answer. Is this a kid? Definitely not. That's some lunch. What about this? Is this a kid? No, that's a dog. So it's definitely the first picture. And that's what you need to do for all of the questions on these pages. Read the word, do your best on your own, and then write it underneath the picture that matches. The last thing we're going to do is make some words together. I'm going to start with this word. D-O-T dot. Now I'm going to change the first sound to p. What word do I have now? Sound it out if you're not sure. I have pot. I'm going to change the first sound again. This time I'm going to change it to Mm. What word do I have now? Not. Now I have the word not. Let's try one more. I'm going to change the first sound again, this time to What word do I have now? That's right, it's hot. Great job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Keep up your fantastic work. See you next time.